Hello, I'm Skull902. Rabbit Sonic Bay. And special guest star Hyper Voice Acting. And this is the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga commentary. Our first ever commentary for the Supercast Con. We did it! <laughs> After four years of planning, this finally comes about. Yes. And it looks like the Mushroom Kingdom's celebrating that too, if the fireworks are to be believed. Notice that second toad on the upper. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Must be some kind of emulation glitch. Probably. Ties with the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> I bring a gift from Queen Bean. Hypersonic 92, our uh, resident narrator. Um, you can just call me Hyper Voice Acting or Hype. Hype. Okay. Is it short? Deep. And as you can see, the princess just got smoked. Yeah. Or did she? Put the flying border, or whatever that's supposed to be. To Kakleta's head that is randomly in the sky. So, uh, just to explain the uh, production side of this commentary for a moment. Um, it's, it's kind of funny, because, um, uh, as I'm sure Rabbit will explain why, this is actually a replacement for, uh, his, uh, one choice. Uh, yes. Uh, what was your original choice? Uh, the Tiny Toons game for the SNES, but I started playing uh, the new Mario and Luigi Dream Team recently, and I'm like, eh, fuck it, I'll just do I still need to thing. get that. <laughs> it's like, I, I played the first game, I have the third game, I kind of skipped over the second game because I heard a lot of people say it's the weakest in the series, and I still need to get Dream Team. I think the second game is still good. Well, I'm sure it's fine on its own rights. I'm just saying, compared to 1 and 3, people say 2 is the weakest. Right. Another thing about this commentary is that uh, uh, Hype was actually uh, supposed to like come in after our test run, but uh, kind of coincidentally, Rabbit started recording this, and I know how much he likes this game, so I was like... You want to jump in? And, uh, thankfully, he said yes. Mm -hmm. Because I don't really have much to do until next week when I start college. Yeah. So we decided to race this commentary. Attacking me with my back is huh? Well, that's typical. Come here, super coward brothers. Uh oh. We just ignored the only part of the game where you play as someone other than Mario or Luigi. Yes. <laughs> the only part. Well, that's only because Mario and Luigi are the only characters that don't have any legitimate dialogue. This is true. Uh, I didn't, but why not extend the video? Oh, uh, you just want this thing to last forever, don't you? Yes. We want the viewers to know what's going on. Well, I'm willing to bet that at least a good chunk of your viewers have already played this game before, so they might see this as a bit monotonous. This is well, true. For those who haven't played this game, <coughs> um, this this is just nice to show off. Yep, yeah, pretty understandable, I suppose. And I'm not even gonna try to do Toad's voice. It's like high-pitched voices are kind of a thing I struggle with, and Toad's voice is just no, <laughs> just no. Yes. I probably would if I didn't have a problem right now. Weeps in the corner. I would, but it'd be really annoying, so I won't. You, is that any different from Toad's voice? Mm, no. <laughs> so, um, usually Bowser is the last one you fight in a uh, typical Mario game. And then platformers, at least. Yeah. So, uh, in recent RPGs, he's been the final boss again, so... Um, and I guess it's kind of, I guess it's kind of mixed on whether people like it or not, because if you think about it, uh, before this time, the only other time you have Bowser as the final boss was in the first Paper Mario. Every other time he's either been a playable character or just a side antagonist. Yeah. Basically he's like comic relief most of the time. Which, and is he, which usually means he's the best character in the series, as far as the RPGs go. Yeah. <laughs> Bowser's inside story. A nice twist on things. You know, in the platformer games, he's uh, he's a villain. 
and you know, yeah. you don't that side about. It seems like Princess's vocabulary has been replaced with explosive quotations. Oh, 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 oh. If I kidnap Peach in this state, she'll wreck my castle. Mario, do something super. Uh, I see what you did there, Bowser. <laughs> Her beautiful voice, I guess if that's what you want to call it. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. She forces everyone to compliment her all the time. <laughs> yes, go capture that thing. I need to get back Peach's voice. Then I can kidnap her. We'll take my Koopa Cruiser and reach the Bay Bay Kingdom in no time. We'll leave immediately. Oh. Man, she must be saying some raunchy shit. Yes, Peach. Well, we don't even know what she's saying. Based entirely by swearing. <laughs> Well, that's what I assume it is. It is an E for everyone game. Well, I guess that's why Nintendo characters never swear, because if they do, it causes bombs to explode randomly. Exactly. I'd say that's a perfect incentive. So I take it another way you're going to prolong the game is that you're going to talk to every single NPC you see? No, just in this one part. Fair enough. Because there's some items you can get by talking to people. I know. Just, oh. Missed the jump. Uh, now you did. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> there we go. Speaking of uh, Peach's explosive dialogue and the swearing connected to it, Peach's language is gonna open up the gates to hell or whatever that left reference is. I told you. If you're that. gonna make a quote, try and remember what the quote is. That Step usually is the first rule of a quote. Just gotta find the exclamation point. I there found something precious. Is it that nice? Well, it's well, not the same precious thing that Peach had in Super Mario RPG. Oh. Uh, <laughs> At least I could say that I own the first fail of these uh, commentaries. Unless, of course, you count that it took us four years to start it up. Yes, it's all your fault. I hate you. Well, aren't you best best friends? Yes. This whole mushroom. Into each other, we actually. My poor decapitated brother's head. And it is random. It's like, do they ever address if mushrooms are actually just decapitated toad heads? Uh, in the original Super Mario Brothers, the toads were turned into all the blocks and power ups, but they never really went with that again. Well, I never heard them say they were turned into power ups. I know the manual said they were turned into bricks or Cons blocks. Considering that, though, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, that theory was the case. Well, if that's the case, I guess that means people appreciate the original Mario even more, because it lets you murder a lot of toads. Yes. Although, I guess I would royally... Royally... Right, uh, I guess I would really depend on what you think of Toad as a character, if that's a good thing or not. Toad Mario and kind of Bowser team up? No, they do not. Why are they acting like that they're so surprised about this? They've teamed up before in The Legend of the Seven Stars. Yeah. New timeline. New timeline. New timeline. <laughs> Is there even a timeline within the Mario series? I don't know. <laughs> what, at least an established one? I would say that this does just doesn't acknowledge Legend of the Seven Stars, but Gino makes a cameo in this game, so I don't know. Well, I like to well, I have to consider that most of the Mario games are pretty much within the same canon anyway, considering there really is no canon in the in the games to begin with. True. I think the only games I would consider to be non-canon are the CDI games and the edutainment games. Yeah. But when those are for the more obvious reasons. Whenever a franchise is split up into different series, what I usually consider is um, that each series is within its own continuity, unless it's said otherwise. Um, like in the Mega Man games, where the X series is pretty much the classic series, but a few years into the future. And apparently the Legend series is basically many more years after the X series, if I've been told correctly. Yeah. Legends is like uh, the furthest you can go. Hmm. And when did the Star Force games fit into that? Uh, uh, Star Force is a different continuity. 
Okay. Well, I was just arguing for the sake of arguing. I really don't care about Star Force. <laughs> that toad's worth. Toad's worth. And a suitcase for you to take on to take with you on your journey. I'm quite sure it will prove useful, and it has many items and outfits. Please take it. You know, I wish that Toad's worth would be voiced by the same guy who played Jeffrey in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. That sounds funny. <laughs> well, he would be the first African-American shroom in the series. Yes. Assuming there's actual races within the Mario series. Mario nodded, that means yes. There's no yes. ethnic diversity here yet. Oh gracious, Master Luigi! Are you going to the Bean Bean Kingdom as well? Oh, no. I know. I'm just going to see Mario off. <laughs> oh, Capital idea. I do believe I'll join in. Master Mario, I am going on ahead. I shall be waiting for you in front of the Google Cruiser. Oh man, need to get this over with. <laughs> I don't know if anyone heard what I just said over uh, Hype's voice acting. Right. But, uh, Somebody actually remembered who and what Luigi is. Oh my god. Wow. I'm, I'm surprised, because everyone forgets that he exists in this. Yeah. At least in the RPGs, anyway. Some of the platformers, too. Um, I don't think I've really seen the platformers explore that, mainly because it's kind of rare for any of the platformers to have any sort of plot outside of Peach's Kidnapped go on. Bye -bye. Like, a. Uh... One I remember specifically is a 64 DS. Like if you talk to all the toads as Luigi, most of them just don't give a shit about them. All right, I forgot about that. In Mario's. Speaking of story, I'm kind of curious as to what they're gonna do with the 3D world, considering that since Peach is playable, they're not gonna do the whole cheese kidnap trope again. Oh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I was just going to say Peach gets kidnapped again until you brought that up. Don't be boxed, Mr. Green. I mean, you look like a pain, but I'll take you anyway. Um, I just remembered. I left the cake in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> the baddies have just arrived. The baddies have just arrived. The assembly area is over here, you blithering idiots. Up, 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 Now again, boarding the Koopa Cruiser. And I'm just need to get out of here. Good. Then we'll have. Then we can depart. And with an increased hit count too. Hey, uh, it's boarding. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not the only one who screwed up the float. Hooray! <laughs> I just no. stopped because I thought I heard someone trying to talk. Might be my TV. Ah, uh, my. I said I don't want to go! Fuck you! <laughs> Who cares about Luigi's opinion? He just. <laughs> the sky is above Mushroom Kingdom. Hmm. What are we gonna do now? Hey, you down there in the ship's building. Mario Wynn. What's your name? Green Guy. Mm -hmm. I wonder if for every text based game that we do with Hype, uh, if they'll uh, narrate over it like this. Depends on how many text-based games you'll invite me to. Yes. I'm only doing this just to break the silence. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Well, that's typically what a narrator is there for. Okay. I meant the silence between the three of us. Oh yeah, well, shoot it. And this is me fucking around through the item menu. Ah. You got your work pants. My work jeans. Here's your work pants. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to whack here. Yeah. The overalls, why are they called different things? It's what? I don't get it. Because uh, stuff. <laughs> because stuff. Oh, you. Okay, and the notebook here, which saves your progress. Yep. I will admit, um, even though I think Bowser's Inside Story is the best in the series, one thing I do miss from Superstar Saga that I wish we would return is if they have, like, neat little HUD like this where it's like a briefcase and whatnot. Yep. Oh, the video's already over. I didn't notice that. Oh, uh, well, got well, so caught up in the moment that I didn't even realize it. Well, we'll see you all in part two. Whenever There's that well. is. <laughs>
Yeah.